Hi, I'm Andrew Simon. I've been the principal clarinetist of the Hong Kong Philharmonic for almost 29 years, and I will be performing the Copeland Clarinet Concerto on June 22nd and June 23rd with Maestro Jaap van Sweden in the Hong Kong Philharmonic Orchestra in the Hong Kong Cultural Center. One of the things that makes this piece so special is that the instrumentation is quite unusual. It's written for string orchestra, harp, and piano. He uses the harp, he, as he puts it, he, a whack sound and a slap sound in the bass to give some percussive effects while he doesn't have a percussion se section. I have small personal connections with this piece. First of all, I actually sat in when I, as a 17-year-old about five years ago <laughs> uh, at a rehearsal where Aaron Copeland was conducting the Boston Symphony and their famous principal clarinetist at that time, Harold Wright, in this piece. A second connection came in 2011. Aaron Copeland's house is now preserved almost exactly at the time as it was at the time of his death near where I grew up in Westchester County. And I actually performed a recital there in 2011, and my pianist was thrilled because he was actually playing on Aaron Copeland's piano. One of the most important facts about this piece is that clarinet legend Benny Goodman commissioned this work for Aaron Copeland. He spent a whopping 2,000 US dollars for it. Benny Goodman was the king of swing and unquestionably the biggest contributor to the clarinet. Now, this is a performance of anniversaries. This is the 100th anniversary year of Leonard Bernstein's uh, birth, and we will be celebrating that in the performance. This is the 70th year uh, since th this piece was written, and tomorrow, will be the 32nd year of the only major regret in my lifetime. It was 32 years ago, as a student at Juilliard, that I walked into the lift, the elevator, and all of a sudden, someone was running, so I pushed the keep it open button, and it's a good thing I did, because there was Benny Goodman, he came in. It's written in your DNA. If you played the clarinet, you went back, put it in your birth certificate, you have to idolize this man. So there he was. I was going to the fourth floor to practice where all the practice rooms were. And if any of my students are tuning in, please keep that in mind. And Benny Goodman walks in and I froze. And at that moment, I thought, you have to meet this man, you have to meet this man. So it registered in the first floor. Come the second floor, my hand started moving very slowly and I was encouraging it up to put it out to shake his hand. I was too slow. He got off on the third floor and I said to myself, don't worry, he came in once, you'll meet him again, you'll have another chance. Benny Goodman passed away the next day. That is my biggest regret in my life. Leonard Bernstein was a big champion of Copeland and of this piece, so much so that his last CD with the New York Philharmonic was a Grammy-nominated performance of this work. It's quite interesting also that, that Maestro van Sweden credits Leonard Bernstein with encouraging him and in getting into conducting. And now, of course, he's going to be replacing him along in the lineage as the music director of the New York Philharmonic. So I find that there's a lot of fascinating uh, connections. And of course, Nina Bernstein, Leonard Bernstein's daughter, will be coming before the performance at 4.30 to talk about her father's music. See you June 22nd and 23rd, 8 p.m., Hong Kong Cultural Center.